Hello, my name is Barrett and this is Netlink Daily. So last week I was talking about this Reddit post from a guy who was at a Foxconn event in China where they were supposedly talking about Apple using e-ink display on every key on the next MacBook keyboard. Well, today the Wall Street Journal posted an article about Apple teaming up with the company that manufactures these keyboards called Sonder. They reported that Apple could be bringing e-ink keyboards to MacBooks in 2018. For a user, this would mean being able to use any alphabet, special characters, and media editing shortcuts. Oh, and don't forget, you could replace the letters on the keyboard with a library of emoji options. What we've all been waiting for. And this is still a rumor, so I'd like to thank Max for telling me what to do in these types of, uh, types of situations. Um, thank you, Bender. In another kind of story about a different topic, researchers from State University of New York at Binghamton and University of California Riverside have identified a weakness in the design of Intel CPUs that make operating systems more vulnerable to malicious attacks. They've devised a technique to get past a defense using most operating systems called Address Space Layout Randomization, or ASLR. ASLR prevents attacks by causing a system crash rather than a catastrophic system compromise. It is often the only line of defense defense that prevents an attacker from exploiting any of a wide range of attacks. The researchers demonstrated the weakness on a computer running a recent version of Linux on top of an Intel Haswell processor. It's a fairly complicated explanation, but these guys wrote a whole paper on this topic that you can find in the links below. One of the researchers told Ars Technica that the importance of something like this is to warn CPU designers to be aware of security as part of the design of new processors. Move, the company that made a wrist wearable fitness tracker with an AI voice to help you reach your goals has now developed a heart rate monitor for your head called Move HR. All right. Well, you see, those wrist-based wearables are apparently not very accurate since they can slide up and down your wrist, not giving a very accurate reading. Move HR, however, sits on your head like a regular headband and there is a swim cap version as well. The skin on the temple is much thinner than on your wrist and so the heart rate readings are far more reliable. With the app, you can pick a workout and get real-time feedback on how you're performing through the Move's voice-based AI coach. The headgear will show heart rate data in beats per minute and as a continuous wave. That's pretty cool. Uh, see, when I'm exercising, I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack most of the time, so it would be nice to be reassured constantly that I will make it through. The Move HR Sweat and Swim are available for $60 each or $99 for both until November 18th and after that they'll be $99 for each. It's time for shorter news stories said more quickly than the others. Arrival of the game Watch Dogs 2 has been delayed by two weeks just for the PC version until November 29th, but the specifications have been released, so check those out in the links below. The Pixels Wallpaper app, which I suppose has some real pretty wallpapers, is now available for all Android phones. Yeah. The Chinese company Le Echo, Le Echo have released their flagship phone, the Le Pro 3, in the United States for only $399. It runs Android 6.0 Marshmallow with a Snapdragon 821 processor, 5.5 inch display, and a 16 megapixel camera. Apple has confirmed its Hello Again event scheduled for Thursday, October 27th. They're expected to talk about the new MacBooks at this one. NASA is looking to partner with 8i, a company that produces 360 degree scenes for VR and is currently developing volumetric video capture for lifelike interactions and meetings with people in VR. This would make it possible for astronauts to have lifelike interactions in VR, making space exploration a little less lonely. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. I couldn't find a Twitter submission to use for this part of the video, so uh, send us a tweet using NCIX Yodog if you want us to say something, anything, uh, that is appropriate, of course. Speaking of saying words, let me say words about a contest that involves you subscribing to the NCIX newsletter and winning an Asus Zenfone 3, and if you're already subscribed, you can claim your newsletter points for this month and be entered to win as well. Oh yes, well, I, I guess I already said it. Um, yeah, uh, so there you go. All right, uh, click over, no, this one. Click over here or in the links below for some, uh, some more info about that. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here to watch previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. All right, now I've got to go watch my favorite reality TV show, the U.S. Presidential Debate. See you later.